and welcome back to the channel if you're tuning in for the first time my name's Glenn I live here in North Wales just on real promenade at the moment um, just on my break getting my steps in so we're uh, supposed to come on say hello to you guys always like to come on and say hello um, so yeah just behind me there we've got some jet skis having a good mess about on the water um, tides on its way in so yeah just nice uh, nice wave sword and to have a good play on
guys how's your week going so far it's uh 30th of uh, january today january is nearly gone can't believe it but i'm glad i hate january horrible month isn't it um yeah it's all dull dismal depressing so yeah it's nearly february So how's your New Year's resolutions going? Have you stuck to them? Did you make any? My New Year's resolution this year is not to make a New Year's resolution. And you know what? It's the only one I've stuck to. So yeah, let me know in the comments. So, I've got about an hour's break. I'm going to have a walk along the prom towards the uh, lifeboat centre. Where I uh, head back to work. So uh, I was out with the dog this morning. I've already got about five thousand steps in. So uh, yeah, I've got to get rid of some of this uh, Christmas weight. Get back into it. Like I say, it's a nice sunny day, but it's only about oh, eight nine degrees. That wind's quite chilly. It looks warmer than it is. What's it like where you are? Probably similar. So guys, just in the uh, this is where we can see the mountains again. Yesterday we had rain all day. It was absolutely awful yesterday. Yeah. Couldn't even see the hills and the mountains. It's just a cloud. So yeah, it's uh, much better today. Makes you feel better, doesn't it? Got a bit of sunshine. Makes you want to get out. I've done my list of uh, locations, different nights of where I'm going to be filming this year. Loads of new locations that I didn't film last year. Somewhere on the list to do, but due to the weather, I just didn't manage to get out and do them. So, uh, so yeah, they're coming up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me as well, please, guys. And the like button helps the channel massively. I'm fast approaching me, I'm going to say, my first milestone of uh, subscribers. Uh, yeah, I'm approaching 500. With your help, you could get me there. That would be fantastic. Don't forget to, guys, if you're heading this way anytime soon, we have now got that 20 mile an hour speed limit in force. And the police now are enforcing it. I know I've told you before, but that's keep reminding you of the thing because uh, it's so easy to fall foul of it. Um, police have said that uh, you can do up to 26 mile an hour. Um, you're up to 26, you get caught, they'll give you a bit of a talking to. That's what they've said. 26 mile an hour and over, then they're going to start finding the other points on your license. So, yeah, just remember we are coming this way. Be careful. I am kind of getting used to it now, to be honest. Um, 
yeah, it's taken a while, but I've got used to crawling around. You do 30 mile an hour, feels like you're doing 40, 50 mile an hour. It's weird. Yeah, so I put a video up on the channel on Sunday. Um, me and Anne Marie, we had to drive out to uh, Anglesey with our Sean, and we put Cole in the car with us. Gave him a day out at uh, Anglesey, he had a great time. Yeah, so have a look at that one if you haven't seen it. So, uh, yeah, he, since he's had his train and he's so much more manageable, um, it's great to take him out now. He used to be a bit, to be honest, used to dread taking him out. But, uh, oh, yeah, he's. It's a pleasure to walk these days, and he loves being out. So yeah, he'd be uh, he'd be coming up a lot more than the channel as well. <laughs> so we're just going to head up now onto the promenade, past the uh, SC2, the new sun sensor. We'll head on up towards the lifeboat station, see what's going on up there. Got all the sea defence works going on. No idea how long that's going to take, a couple of years, I think. So the old kiosks have been knocked down now, a bit further up. We'll come to that shortly. A lot of you will be familiar with over the years. Sad to see. Still got a lot of drifting sand. A lot of debris on the beach. Look at all this for drifting sand. Right for the steps. <laughs> steps have disappeared. <laughs> Over the road there, you've got the Palace Amusements. Um, stays open all year round. Always oh, seems to be people in there. Good to have uh, something open, you know, just for the locals, but anyone who wants to uh, drive out. And, uh, it's always something to do here. And before I moved over to Wales, it was 20 odd years ago. I have to drive out of here quite often to the palace when the kids were little. Spend the fortune in the machines. Been in teddy bears. <laughs> All good fun. Just on the left here, you've got your SC2. Which I 
the new sun sensor, replace the old one. I feel like the old one had to be replaced to be honest. The building's still there. It's part of the uh, Pavilion Theatre. And uh, bar 1891. Just across the road there, that rolls Premier in. Looking for somewhere to stay. Can't go wrong with a Premier in. Park is um, that's closed at the moment. I think it probably just opens at weekends until the season kicks off. And then you've got your view, theatre, cinema, I should say. We're just going to cut through the uh, children's village to take us uh, onto the other side of the promenade. Well, it's just closed down now. Um, when the end of the summer holidays, it just gets uh, completely shut down. It will probably op reopen um, probably towards Easter. Still going on on the prom. Summertime, this place is absolutely even, as you can imagine. The rooms over here. Down these steps here, you've got the main um, central car park. Is underground. And the real tourist information centre just over there. Yeah, it does become a bit of a ghost town during the winter. Yes, don't forget guys, like I always mention it, if uh, you want me to film anywhere in particular, within reason of course, I'll always do my best for you to include it in uh, future videos. Always open to suggestions. So, I'm just going to walk over this bridge towards the Seaquarium, which is now closed. Um, most of you probably know that... Uh, we had to close the aquarium down because of the sea defence works that's going on. And the animals were in too much distress with all the noise and the banging. So unfortunately, they took the decision to close it. Um, it was last November. Um, so all the animals have been rehoused. Um, various zoos around the area have taken them on. Which is uh, really sad. Sad for real. Big attraction gone. Just behind me there. Yeah, it's a really popular, uh, popular place to go. Very sad. There you go. It's happened. Um, I don't know whether they'd be open to the option of once it's all completed and the works are finished, we could reopen it. I don't know. Uh, it would just too much causing more distress for the animals, I suppose. 
There we go. So yeah, there's the essential car park. So you should go in under the bridge at the roundabout. That's where you'll get in there. Then come up the stairs by the front there. So guys, we're just approaching the uh, lifeboat uh, station now. Just have a little walk on the sand. Um, yeah, so if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure you hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you're not already. I'm helping the channel out massively. Let's get me up to uh, the milestone of 500 subscribers. That'd be massive. You know, I said it before, I know, but uh, when I first started doing this uh, YouTube, I didn't think I'd get 10 subscribers, to be honest. I um, didn't really know what I was doing. I was just having a bit of a mess with it and the way you do, you know. And uh, But yeah, I love doing it. I love coming on. I love chatting to you guys and when I'm going live and in the uh, comments. Yeah, so it's, uh, I love doing it. So yeah, if uh, you don't mind, just hit that subscribe button for me. Just over there, guys, you've got your uh, travel lodge. Again, if you're looking for somewhere to stay, any reason on the travel lodge. And the rooms are pretty good these days as well, given off, uh, come on, since the early days. The next door, you've got a Marsden's pub, the Sun Verge. Nice and there, if you're looking for a carvery or different kind of meal. Been there a couple of times, quite nice. Uh, they do charge for the parking there now, which is paying display. We never used to. Um, but I think people have been taking the mech a little bit. Parking there for the day, obviously, is to come to the beach. If it's free, people are going to do it, aren't they? So, uh, yeah, they've started charging. Not sure what it is, to be honest. Um, and you've got plenty of parking along the prom as well. That car park's full. Again, looking at the sand here. Lots of cleaning up for the council to do before the uh, season kicks off again. We've got a tractor down here. Mountains of it. Now, this here on the left, I filmed this. Uh, a few months ago, they were digging this hole. It was one, one of the live streams, I don't know, I think. It was absolutely massive. I'm not able to see it now. But yeah, I was filming and uh, they were digging it. Let's see what you can see.
Okay guys, so that's the end of today's walk. I'm outside bar 1891, just back to Life Boat Centre. Time for me to get back to work, unfortunately. Don't forget guys, if you would uh, hit that uh, like button for me, hit the subscribe button if you're not already. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you soon. Goodbye for now.